Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel. I did a seer session at two-ish this morning. A seer, if you are not aware, is an app made by GhostTube. Now, GhostTube is made by a channel creator named Amy, and her channel is Amy's Crip. Amy and her husband, Jared, have done so many paranormal investigations over the years, and they are amazing. I know when I watch their channel, I'm going to see real stuff. I don't have to worry about any fake stuff. I don't have to worry about any loud booms, how, loud music, making it more suspicious. None of that mess. I know when Amy and Jared do something that it's real. So when Amy came out with the Ghost Tube app, then she came out with the Seer app. I was so excited. Amy has about four different Ghost Tube apps that she has created herself, and they are all and amazing. But Seer is my favorite. Seer is the one that I use the most. So I decided last night or early this morning that I was going to do a Seer session. I wanted a picture, and that's what the Seer app does. It provides pictures using words that are in their databank. I asked, Spirit, can you please show me where Sebastian Rogers is located right now? I named the time. I named the date as I was recording videos because you can record one minute videos and then it also shows you pictures. I have used Seer on a couple different readings that I've done and every single time pictures are spot on. Now there's always a couple pictures in there that I'm like, what the heck does that mean? And this is no different. There are two pictures in here, maybe three, that I'm like, what the heck? But when I ask for a specific location, I ask for them to show me what the location looks like inside or I ask for them to show me what's around the location. And you're going to see all of the responses that I got. Now, when I first started the app, I didn't record and I don't pay for the premium of Seer. So it locked the first three pictures that it showed me. And you can see those here. The first one was an airplane and you can see it's distorted, but the airplane is up in the top right hand corner. The second picture was an older lady with white pupils. That was a little eerie. And I don't know why I was shown that. And the third picture I never saw, so I don't know what that one is. But then you see the rest of these, and they come in as I'm recording, as I'm showing Sebastian Rogers' picture on his missing flyer. That was my main focus, was Sebastian's face. Now I want you to go watch this Seer session. It's a very short session. And then leave a comment and let me know, have you ever seen this building? Have you ever seen this location? And what do these other pictures mean? And I'll see you at the end of the video where I will review my actual reading that I did for Sebastian Rogers using some of my cards. We will go over my reading and I will tell you how the Seer session confirmed some of the information that I got during my reading. Now I want to clarify something very quickly. I made a community post about this and I've shared it twice. When I do a spirit box session, I can do a session for people who are living or deceased. So when I do a spirit box session or anybody else does a spirit box session, we are not insinuating that the person that we are asking about is deceased. We are reaching out to our angels, our spirit guides, our ancestors. Everybody has those attached to them, whether you are alive or you are deceased. We can also communicate with spirit about people who are living. We, I could do a current reading for somebody right now and ask their guides questions that they have about a current situation in their life. Just because we do a spirit box session about a missing person or a missing child, we are not insinuating that that person or child is deceased. I know that there's been a lot of misinformation spread about spirit box sessions by people who are ignorant when it comes to spirit box sessions. So I just wanted to clear that up or clarify for anybody who may not fully understand how or why we do a session. So hopefully that will help. Okay. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in my comment section. And if I can answer them, I will. Also, lastly, before we do this, <laughs> anything that you learn in any of my videos that I specify I am learning from spirit or during a reading or during a session, any of that information is not factual information. It is not factual information. I will be very specific when I am sharing factual information. And 99.9% .9 of the time, I will show you proof 
of that factual information that I'm sharing with you. Now, any of the information that I get during my readings or my sessions, that is information from spirit. That is intuition. That is not factual information. So I do not want anybody to contact law enforcement about anything that you hear during a reading or a spirit box session. Please do not contact law enforcement with any of that information. First of all, if the reader feels strongly enough about the information that they received that they want to contact law enforcement with it, they would have already done that themselves before they put the information on YouTube, hopefully. I know I do. I, I have called law enforcement twice, two times in the last three years because they blow us off because it's intuition. It is not factual information. So I just wanted to clarify that before I show you any of this information. So now I'm going to show you the seer session first. And then I'll come back and we'll go over the reading that I did for Sebastian Rogers. Let's do this. Where is Sebastian Rogers? Show me where his physical body is right now. At 2.15 a.m. on Sunday, April 14th. Show me where his physical body is right now. Show me a location. My Labradorite. Where is Sebastian? Show me where Sebastian Rogers is right now, today, at 2.19 a.m. on April 14th, this early Sunday morning. I need my guides to help. Please. Is Sebastian inside of an abandoned building? Is that what you're showing me? I just asked to be shown a location where Sebastian Rogers is right now today at 2.22 a.m. on Sunday, April 14th. And I was shown that picture of that building Show me more, please. Show me where he is inside the building. Show me where the building is located. What is that? A sword? A sword? Oh my, okay, a sword, and a knife, a dagger, and a witch in the background. Okay. Show me inside the building where Sebastian is, or show me what's around the building to help me locate the building. Please. Is that building in Hendersonville, Tennessee? Or in another city or another state? It's 2.24 a.m. now. Give me a letter, the first letter of the town that Sebastian Rogers is in right now, today. Give me another letter that has to do with Sebastian about where he is right now today.
the police are out searching. That's good. Law enforcement have a lead, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's what you're showing me. Let's do another letter. Give me a letter. Give me the first letter of the first name of the person, of one person who knows where Sebastian Rogers is right now, today. And again, another R. Another R. R and R. R. Try again. Give me another. The first letter of the first name of the person who knows where Sebastian is. Oh, look. Is that a female sitting there having a glass of wine? Is that what that picture is? What is in front of her? A. These next two pictures popped up while I wasn't recording, but I wanted to share them since they are a part of this seer session for Sebastian Rogers. This first one looks like a man with some kind of tool, maybe a shovel. What do you see here? Now, the last picture was this one, and it looks like the inside of some sort of log cabin Lots of wood in this room, and even some things hanging on the walls. Now, let's finish this video with the elaboration from my notes from my first reading for Sebastian Rogers. Now, I've, I've done a second reading also, but I'll probably make another video to go over that reading so that this video isn't too long unless I can share both readings in under 30 minutes or so. So I'm going to start at the top of the page and work my way down. I'll show the seer pictures that I believe are relevant as we go. Other than the, the fact that the pictures were locations, when I was asking for locations of Sebastian during my seer session. So I did this reading on March 29th, 2024 at 313 p.m. And I always start out just listening to spirit and see if I hear anything. And I did, and I wrote it down here. So I'm going to read this section first. So the first things that I started hearing was about control. I heard the word control, all the control, three hour call for control, not once, which I believe that that was the belt incident. Drill sergeant is an understatement, scared around him, physical, verbal, constant, uncomfortable, bully, controls a room, always. Katie hasn't been controlled this way or this much. Liked it, not now. So basically, like, Katie enjoyed the, the controlling aspect of the relationship, but now she's not so much liking it. And the last thing that I heard, and this is all allegedly, like I said, none of this is factual information, but I heard Katie and Chris knows where Sebastian is. And that was the last part of what I heard. I also make a notes section. So if things pop in my head, I can write that part down here. So I'm going to read this section now. During this part, I wrote, Katie spoke on the phone with Chris so that he could control everything. He'd yell at Sebastian over the phone too, not just when he was home. Chris doesn't want Sebastian around his daughter because she'll tell on Chris. Again, allegedly, in my opinion. Also, during this reading, I decided to pull my DIY crime card set out that I made and see if any cards would pop out. I pulled multiple cards out the first round, and I wrote this story that I felt like matched each one of these cards. So this is what the cards told me. So my first card was DNA. So the DNA of the victim, which was the second card, DNA of the victim, angel, then joker or prankster, driving, field, 
marriage, for better or for worse, private, and those were all the very first cards. So DNA of the victim, victim was an angel, the joker, the prankster, was driving by a field, for better or for worse, marriage, that would be Chris and Katie in my opinion. This is the only card that I have in my deck that describes a couple. So that's why I believe where it says for better, for worse, that's the marriage. That's Chris and Katie had private information on tech. That is evidence. Each card that I pulled ha is underlined. So you can see tech evidence. Those were the cards. The, the married couple had private information on their tech. That is considered evidence. And that also proves that Chris is a liar. He's worn a mask while he's tried to dismember mom his daughter's mom, Nina, after he abandoned her, he believes he has credibility, but he's wrong. We see through his lies and his mask. Chris and Katie have been withholding info. I believe these cards, these last few cards tell the whole story on their own. Transferred, work vehicle, blood, snake, narcissist, weakness, and goal. So I believe that Chris and Katie have been withholding information about transferring Chris from one location to another in a work vehicle, not his personal vehicle, but another vehicle related to his work. And that there may be blood in that vehicle because Chris is a snake. He's a narcissist and he, he wants weakness in people. That is his goal is to find their weakness. The cards felt so strong and on point and I felt like I needed to pull more so I made this list of the second set that I pulled here. So the first card that came out was gaslighting, which is what I feel like Chris and Katie have been trying to do to all of us. The second card was vehicle. Then we got queen. Now, anytime you see king or queen, that is the main female or male in the case. So queen would mean Katie. Then we got money and then we got female. Then garage, shopping, detour, crossed over, one to two weeks, bridge, wandered away, set up, neglect. So these cards mean to me, like I said, the gaslighting is both of them to all of us. The vehicle, the queen was driving the vehicle. Money and female, those two cards kind of have me a little bit questionable right now. I'm not for sure what they mean. So you let me know what you think they mean. Then we have garage shopping detour didn't they go shopping on february 25th the last day that sebastian rogers was seen was there a detour where somebody crossed over i don't know what the one to two weeks means unless it was some kind of plan because then the bridge wandered away set up i believe that they were by a bridge they wanted to put out this theory the narrative that sebastian wandered away he left the house without shoes on you know, between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. that it and that was the setup. The wandered away was the setup because they were trying to hide neglect. Then we go to number 15 is danger close to home, five to ten miles, local prayer. So there was danger close to home. I believe Sebastian is within five to ten miles away from his home. He is local and he wants prayer. Spirit wants prayer. Okay, this is not, I'm not saying Sebastian himself. This could be Sebastian's guides, his angels, his ancestors. Okay, they want prayer. Positive vibes, power of prayer. Then we have 20, struggle, building, scream, pawn, and devil. There was a struggle in a building. Now, whether that was an incident that caused death or it was the struggle of getting a deceased body into a building. And that's where my seer pictures come into play into this reading. Then it says scream, which makes me think that the struggle happened in the building and there was screaming going on. Pawn, somebody was used as a pawn for the devil. So I would love for you to break these cards down for me. I have them sectioned one through five, six through 14, 15 through 19, and 20 through 24, because that is how the cards came out in sections of cards like that. So I believe that those sections go together. Those sections tell a story. Now, the last part of my notes, and this is the last, but certainly not least, maybe the most relevant actually, is this new layout that I tried. So I, I pulled out eight cards 
And I started with the present. And the card that came out was red flags. Number two stands for the challenge. What is the challenge in this case? And I got the card team. Hmm. I think that that works pretty well, right? The team has been the challenge in this case between Katie and Chris versus Seth. Number three, the past. A card that came out with that is envy. What envy from the past? What do you think about that one? Number four, the recent past. And the card that came out with that was history of abuse. Recent past. I think, like I said earlier, I feel like that is intertwined with the reason why Sebastian is missing right now, in my opinion. Number five, outcome without change. And I got two cards with that one, dark and hidden. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? Number six, path to the future. And I got three cards on this. Now this, this got me. The first card was wooded area. The second card was stars. And the third card was captive. That makes me believe that Sebastian is someplace in a building in or near a wooded area. And the stars, I'm not for sure if there's a name of the location or if there's something near the location, something like that that has to do with stars. And then captive. Is he being held captive? Is Sebastian still alive? Or was he being held captive in his mind? I'm, I'm not for sure what captive means in that path to the future. But I feel like that's where he's, that's, that's going to be like in the location where he's found. I feel like those cards are more drawn to the location where Sebastian currently is. And I do believe that he will be found. I absolutely believe that. Now, number seven, more about the situation. And the card that I got with that was authority. So this tells me, you know, we have a lot of people who don't have faith in the TBI, which I'm right there, you know, with the Summer Wells case, it's hard to have trust in authority in law enforcement right now. But I feel like the authority is doing their job in this case. I feel like they know a hell of a lot more than what we think they know or what we know they know. Okay. I think it's very, very deep. And I think that they, this case is far from cold. I do not believe that it's cold. I do believe that they do have leads and I feel like they're working their investigation properly. Now, number eight, final outcome. And the card that came out with that was loss. That hurt my heart when I saw that card because it made me feel like my cards were saying Sebastian is gone. I'm not saying he is because I don't know for sure, but in my opinion, my intuition is leading me to he's gone. And I, I hurt saying that because I would rather him being held captive right now. I would rather that out. But regardless, my cards said the outcome is loss. My cards that I made have always been spot on, even if I'm not fully sure what each card means during my readings. Like now, some of these cards match, match up with Seer, right? And they helped me understand them better. Like I said, I did do a second reading also, and I will put that in another video because this video is already a, almost a half hour long. And if I add that second reading in, it is definitely going to be over a half hour and I don't want to do that to you guys. So I will do my second reading in another video. That one, hmm, it matches a lot of what I got in this one and what I got from Seer. I love my cards. I mean, that that's, <laughs> I love my cards. So that's all I have for you for now. What do you think about my reading? What do you think about the words that I heard? All about the control. What do you think about the cards that I pulled? The section of cards. And then this last layout, the present, the challenge, the past, the recent past, outcome without changes, the path to the future, more about the situation and the final outcome. Do you like that idea? Do you like that layout? If you do, I may try it more in the future. I'll probably try it more in the future. And I think that the cards were very direct in answering my direct question. So I'm very impressed with those eight sections and all of the cards that came out for each answer.
So that's all I have for you right now. I cannot wait to read your comments and hear your opinions about this. And again, like I said, please do not contact law enforcement with anything that you learned in this video. This is all about intuition. This is nothing factual in this video unless I stated it as fact. Thank you so much for watching. May you have the kind of day that karma feels you've earned. And until next time, I love you bunches.